Hi guys, this is Srinivas, working as an Ashram Professor in Pida College PG courses. Today, I am going to discuss about Simplex method, that is Model 2. So, already Model 1 is uploaded. If the subject comes in the form of gradual argument with minus, how we are going to solve the given LPP by using Simplex method? First, we have to check whether the given object function is in the form of maximization or minimization. If it is maximization, we will move, uh, so we will move on to the next step. If it is minimization, convert it into maximization by using minimax theorem. Here, the given object function in the form of maximization. Uh, so after that, we are going to check the subject constraint. Since the second constraint in the form of less than or equal to but no problem whatsoever, then whereas the first can be in the form of gradual prototype with minus. So first we have to change this gradual prototype in the form of less than or equal to. The most important thing for simplex method is all the constraints should be in the form of less than or equal to type 1. So that is all of you. First of all, we are going to multiply with minus to the first constraint to make this entire constraint in the form of less than or equal to type. So minus into minus x1 that is plus x1 minus into minus plus 2x2 this rather than will become obviously less than when we are going to multiply with the minus obviously minus into 6 is always plus 6. Then followed by the identity constraint 4x1 plus 3x2 less than or equal to 12. These are the first step. The next step is as usual make this inequalities into equalities by introducing slack value. If the constraint in the form of less than or equal to type without loss of generality we are introducing a slack variable to make all the constraints in the form of equality. That is x1 plus 2x2. So this is in the form of less than or equal to Simply that the, the coefficient of x1 is 1, the coefficient of x2 is 2, the coefficient of x2 is 1, but we don't have any sort of a uh, the slag and s2, obviously the value should be 0. Now the coefficient of x1 is 4, 3, 0, 1. This is all about a. We have x variables. So all the variables, so that is x1, x2, s1, s2, as you do, that is x1, x2, s1, s2, that equal to what is b? b means 6 and 4. So this is all about the standard form of manifest. After this, the modified object function. The modified object function is, so the given is object function is max or equal to 7x1 plus 5x2. So we introduce two slag variables. So the introduced slag variables cost will be 0. So 0 into s1 plus 0 into s2. This is all the part 1. After this, we are going to represent the first iteration table. Simply, I am going to represent the total matrix in the, the first iteration table. Now, the first iteration table as follows. So, that is all of you. The first iteration table. We have CB, YB, XB and all the variables X1, X2. We introduce a slag variable S1, S2. So what is CB that is the introduced variables cost, Y means introduced variable and XB means uh, the matrix P. Simply I am going to represent in the first equation of if we introduce a slag variable. So that is the reason why we have introduced SB. The introduced slag variable cost will be obviously zero. In the second equation we introduce a slag variable S2. The introduced slag variable cost will be obviously zero. A x equal to B. So that is what is B? We have a matrix 6 and 12. So that is simply I am going to represent the 6 and 12. And total I am going to represent this entire matrix here. That is we have 1, 2, 1, 0. We have 4, 3, 0, 1. After that, Cj, the modified object function is 7, 5, and the rest of the values are 0, 0. Why? Why? Because the integral slide variable cost will be 0. After that, we have three major important formula so that is the, the formula for maximum of z that is summation cb into xb that equal to 0 into 6 0 plus
plus zero into two obviously zero. Obviously maximum z equal to zero. After that z z. The formula for z z is summation c b into x z. I am going to multiply the c b values with x z. If I put z equal to one x one, if I put z equal to x two, that is zero into one zero plus zero into four obviously zero. We have a summation. Zero into two zero plus zero into three again zero, and again zero into one zero zero into again zero. Obviously the value should be. If you are going to multiply a uh, value with zero, obviously the value should be zero. After the net elimination condition is all of you. J J minus C J greater than equal to zero. J J means zero zero zero, and C J is we have seven five zero zero. Zero minus seven obviously minus seven. Zero minus five minus five. Zero minus zero 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 minus zero zero. Here the net elimination condition is not satisfied. Why? Because if all Z J minus C J are not greater than equal to zero, we got some sort of a negative values. Hence the so the solution is not at all optimal here. So for that reason we have the minus of minus. From minus seven minus five, the minus of minus is obviously minus seven only. Minus of minus. After this we have a minimum ratio rule. That is the formula is X B by X J. X J represents so this arrow represents X one. So X B by X one. That is X B means six by X one. That is six by one. That is six by one. Obviously six. And one more twelve by four. That is twelve by four. That is equal to three. So here we have minus of maximum. In this we have to consider plus of minimum. So from these two, the values, the plus of minimum is obviously three. If you combine these two values, we will get the key element. Key element. Because of this key element only, we are not able to satisfy this net elimination condition. So after this, we have a next action table. We have a major two steps. So that is, first we have to make this key element as unity. By dividing itself, and make all the elements in the key column has to be zero. After this, I'm going to make this one as zero. And x1 is incoming vector, x2 is outgoing vector. The cost of x1 is seven in the second iteration table. The second iteration table is as follows. That is the second iteration table. So we have all the uh, forms. That is cb as usual. Y B C B Y B X B and we have X one X two S one S two and you can see J we have seven four double zero. Here in the first phase, first we have to make this key element as unity by dividing it. So I am going to divide this entire row by four. So why? Because we have a key element as four. For example, if it is hundred, we have to divide this entire row. By 100, so I'm going to divide this entire row by 4. That is 12 by 4. That is 3. 4 by 4, 1. 3 by 4. That is 3 by 4. 0 by anything again 0. 1 by 4. That is again 1 by 4. So already I have told you that x1 is incoming vector, x2 is outgoing vector. That is x1 will be here and x2 will be outgoing vector. The cost of x1 is seven. The cost of x1 is seven here. No problem whatsoever, and there is no changes for S1 as usual. That is S1, the cost will be zero here. After that, we have to make the key element to unity by dividing itself. So already we have uh, done this. Now we have to make all the elements in the key column has to be zero. Now we are going to make this one as zero by using some sort of row operation. So we have a simple technique. We have to make this one as zero. Now. So take some sort of rough paper. So copy the row. That is six one. With the help of key row only. With the help of key row is this one. That is three, one, three by four, zero, one by four. Now we have to get zero here. So which operation we have to use? So that is minus only. That is six minus three obviously three. One minus one obviously zero. Two minus three by four. That is eight minus three by four. That is five by four. You know we got five by four. One minus zero obviously one, and zero minus five by uh, one by four obviously minus one by four. I'm going to represent this entire row here. That is three, zero, five by four, one minus one by four. So in this case, we make the key element into unity by dividing it.
itself and may all the elements in the key column has to be zero so all the elements in the key column has to be zero and we made the key element as unity by dividing it so then we will we will have a three important formulas so again i am going to repeat the tempo again so that is the so the reason why this is called as iteration table iteration means repetition we can say that. so the first formula we have is maximum z equal to summation cb into xb that is equal to 0 to the 0, 7 is a 21 and again zj, the formula for zj is summation cb into xj that is 0 to the 0, 7 is a 7 0 to 0, 7 is a 21 by 4 0 to the 0, 7 is a 0 and 0 to the again 0, 7 into 1 by 4 7 by 4 obviously we have an international condition that is zj minus cj rather than equal to 0 7 minus 7 0 21 by 4 minus 5 0 to the 0 and again 7 by 4 so simply I am going to calculate here 0 for 5 is 20 21 minus 20 is obviously 1 by 4 that is 0 and again 7 by 4 all of you here in this case the net direction conditions are satisfied why because all the values are positive but not in this case we got some sort of a ne negative values here but in this case we are going to satisfy all the net direction conditions are positive and the solution is obtained so that is the, the final answers are we got the maximum z is 21 and we got some sort of a values of x1 and x2 that is the, the therefore Max are equal to 21, x1 equal to, we got x1 equal to 2, 3, and we don't have x2 now. In this, uh, we, we don't have a, any sort of values like x2, obviously, the value should be 0. This is all about the solution. If you want to check out, that is checking. Now, consider the objective function. The given objective function is max are equal to 7x1 plus. 5x2. Now I am going to substitute all the values here. 7 into what is x1? We have 3. Plus 5 into what is x2? We have 0. 7, 3 is 21 plus 0. Obviously 21 also. So we got 21 here. We got 21 here. And the checking also. And also we got 21. What it means? So we have two products. That is for example x1 and x2. We are fixing the cost of a first variable as 3. Hence, a company could make a profit of 21 rupees. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.